Yo guys, what is going on? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to this new video of mine. Now you guys probably know that today I'm going to be talking about my medicine work experience journey. Now before I get into this video guys, let me give you a quick introduction of myself. Now many of you guys probably know me from my GCC video which I made around two years ago I guess. And that kind of went viral with over 100,000 views. So you probably know me from that. But for those of you who don't actually know me, let me just give you a quick introduction of myself. My name is Abu Tarab. I'm a current year 13 student. I basically got two to three weeks left of year 13, but now the schools are closed. I'm basically done with year 13. So last year in year 12, I did maths, chemistry, biology and physics AS levels. And this year in year 13, I've done maths, chemistry and biology. Now I've applied to several unis. Uh, I've applied for medicine, uh, applied medical sciences and biomedical sciences. And I received offers from universities such as UCL and Queen Mary. Alright guys, so for my first work experience, I actually worked in a pharmacy and this was around April time, so that two weeks Easter holiday, straight after my mocks, I had that two weeks Easter holiday for me to relax, maybe take a little bit of a break. So that's when I uh, went and I got my pharmacy work experience. Now I actually had a pharmacy work experience for only one week, but in terms of the way the day was structured, it was actually quite long. It was 8am in the morning until 7pm every single day for a week straight basically. Now. My pharmacy was a Dave Lewis pharmacy, but before I actually found this work experience, I had to go to like five, six pharmacies until finally one of them, my local one, actually accepted me. And that's when I started my work experience. So my pharmacy was actually quite busy. The reason why is because my pharmacy was located right next to a GP center. So patients were coming in from the GP center and they were coming straight into the pharmacy. So throughout the day, basically, it was quite, uh, I guess, busy. So kind of the things that I've done in the pharmacy was uh, every single morning we're talking deliveries. So we had the delivery man come in with lots of packages and stuff like that. So unboxing, putting the things on the shelves, uh, cleaning the shelves, just normal basic stuff uh, such as administration work, uh, taking in prescriptions, uh, giving them out, giving medicines out to the patients and stuff like that. So one of the things that I've also done was dosset boxes. So these are boxes where you just basically put in medicines. It's got Monday to like a Sunday uh, list. So it's got medicines in there. That is mostly for people who maybe they have difficulty or they have problems with uh, choosing their own medicines and stuff like that. So we prepared dosset boxes. We gave, I mean, it was very quite generic what we've done really. But at the end of the day, I feel like what I really gained from it is the fact that I understood how pharmacies work or what kind of work they do behind the pharmacies, how everything works. And basically, I got to shadow a pharmacist, basically, and learn about their career. But I think it, it was very good. It was very good, especially if the people in the pharmacy that you're shadowing are like friendly. They're very nice. So overall, I would say it was a very good work. Experience. All right, guys. So. For my second work experience, which was around June time, and this is straight after I finished my AS levels. So that time I was quite free, I would say I just finished exams and all I had left is I was planning ahead for my UCAT. So that's when I had, I would say like two to three weeks free. And that's when I got my first proper hospital work experience. So in this hospital work experience was actually at St. Bartholomew's Hospital. And I was working for a week shadowing doctors, nurses, mostly surgeons and basically we were in the cardiology department and what we did is that we went around for ward rounds every single morning uh, just looking at the patients in the cardiology department um, understanding what they're suffering from you know just shadowing doctors and nurses and seeing how they talk to patients how they operate in the ward it started around eight o'clock early in the morning and they normally last like one hour two hours I mean, it really depends on uh, how quickly the doctors, the nurses and the patients talk and they communicate and stuff like that, really. But one thing I really learned about that is that you're able to shadow both doctors, surgeons, nurses and stuff like that in the same place, in the same ward. And you're able to distinguish between the different roles that they play within the department. Right. And one of the most frequently asked questions that they might ask you in your medical school interview is, why medicine and why not nursery? Why do you want to be a doctor and why do you not want to be a nurse and stuff like that? And this is important because if you have, if you were lucky enough to have work experience in which you can both shadow doctors and nurses, you can tell them, hold on a second, I've actually uh, shadowed doctors and I've also shadowed uh, nurses. So I can tell you this is the difference between them. This is the kind of roles that they play within the town. Now towards like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, that's when we actually used to go to the theatres. Now, this was the most, honestly, it was the most exciting bit of the entire 
work experience that I've done, uh, my second work experience in June in the hospital. And that is you can actually go and watch live surgeries. So the ones that I've watched were mostly, I've watched two mitral valve replacements during this one week that I've done in St. Bartholomew's Hospital. And honestly, it was the most amazing thing ever. Now, what are some of the things that I've learned? One, some of the things that I've actually learned is that, first of all, being a surgeon, being a doctor is not an easy job. It takes lots of hard work and many years of studies. Like I was talking to surgeons while they were doing a surgery and we were literally standing in the same place for like literally three to four to five hours even. And one thing that you actually realize within a surgery is how important teamwork actually is. Now you have the guy coming in the anesthetician, uh, they put the anesthetics in, and then you have the clinical perfectionists, they're the ones monitoring all of the stuff, making sure that the blood level is fine, the potassium level is fine, like they're literally monitoring a huge list of things. And then obviously there is the, the, the nurse that's basically helping with the equipment, sterilizing the equipment and stuff like that. And then there is obviously two main surgeons i guess on each side of the heart surgery and they're basically working through the thing all right guys now for my third work experience this was also a hospital work experience which was around july time and this was one week long and this was also at st bartholomew's hospital and honestly i this last work experience that i had was literally the best work experience out of all of the other ones i've had now this work experience was very, I would say, it was very structured. So in one week we did a crazy amount of things. Like we went in the morning until like evening time, eight o'clock in the morning until like five, six, seven o'clock in the evening. So it was quite stressing and it was quite long, but I really, really enjoyed it. Now guys, in this work experience, I've done all sorts of things. So for example, I actually went uh, to the pharmacy of the hospital, although I already had a previous pharmacy work experience. I already knew how it, how it really worked but it was structured i had a few hours in the pharmacy of the hospital and then i shadowed gp star in the hospital i've shadowed oncologists for a day and understood more about cancer how things work and honestly what you realize is that especially when you're shadowing like oncologists sometimes doctors have to say maybe not the best news to the patients so you kind of learn how doctors communicate with patients how they tell them good news and bad news and other normal stuff that I've done was CT scans, MRI scans, going out there and basically shadowing these people and understanding how CT scans work, MRI scans work. So as I said, this work experience was really, really structured and there were so many different things that we've done. Another thing that we've done is um, we've shadowed like and we've spoke to like nutritionists, dietitians, and they're the ones who do all of the like food stuff for different patients. Like some patients, they have to eat a specific amount of food, maybe because of their condition. Something else I've done in this work experience, which I haven't really done before, is I went to cath labs and basically I was able to witness angiograms and stuff like that, how the vessels of the heart and stuff like that work. And I was also able to uh, watch TAVIs, which are basically transcatheteric uh, aortic valve implantations. So I was able to witness them, look at them, understand more about them. Now guys, just like my previous work experience, in this work experience, I was able to witness another mitral valve replacement. Now this is my third mitral valve replacement. So by this time, I already knew a lot of this stuff. And also one thing um, that surgeons normally do while they're operating on the, on the patient, they do speak to work experience to them. And they, they, they tell you, oh, this is the heart. This is what we're doing. This is what we're, go we're going into. This is the next phase that we're going to be doing. So honestly, my experience with surgeons is that they were really nice. They were really friendly. They were really teaching uh, us, like as work experience students, this is this, this is that. And they were telling you more about how they got into surgery. Now, guys, for my last day, what I did is that uh, this wasn't really in the hospital. It was like a building next to the hospital. Now, this is where we've done all of the finance stuff. This is where we've done all of the HR stuff. This is where we've done, uh, we basically went in and we've seen all of the clinical governance stuff. So we've learned all of the things that happen behind the scenes. So not really in the hospital. We understood how the NHS operates, all of the office jobs, basically. Now, guys, this is actually my, um, although I had three different work experiences, I've only got a certificate for this one. For the last work experience and as i said this got all of the different things like uh, a ccu ward uh, cath labs tavi nutrition and diabetics all of these different things like cancer services when i shadowed oncologists so this is it was quite nice for them to give me like an actual certificate so yeah guys these are the three different work experiences that i've done honestly you don't need that much work experience i would say hospital work experience is enough one of them would be enough but honestly i had so many different chances i had a few more but i didn't really want to take them because i had my uk and my bmat coming up so honestly i was really 
uh, lucky and blessed alhamdulillah to have all this work experience and learn things from it so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think about it in the comments below uh also guys i'll be doing a further follow-up video on how to get work experience and stuff like that so guys make sure you follow me on my social media it will be down there in the description below i hope you enjoyed guys and best of luck i really wish you guys the best of luck and i want you to get the best you can results be my results the best work experience and to get into medicine if that is what you want to get into so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys.